Hey everybody, uh, this is Jerry. I wanted to make a quick video on how I uh, set up the neural net for um, a 30 minute Euro USD uh, using timing solution. I'm using the uh, October uh, 13th, 2018 version and um, I've loaded 30 minute bars in here and it's UTC plus 2 that I exported from MetaTrader 4. So let's get started. We've got um, over here on the neural net button, uh, this button in the upper right corner um, is the forecast mill library. And um, uh, Ser Sergey has uh, put in some models in here. Um, and I think. Uh, what I did was, yes, click this one, uh, second best, April 2017, and notice that all these uh, models are coming up with 100%, not all of them, but several of them, um, success rate, okay? So I'm going to just click on one and then over here say OK, normal projection line, and then click the second one and change the color and say OK. Just checking the 100% ones. So let me pause the uh, video. So I've gone through and checked uh, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to leave it at 10 at a time. Uh, just to keep things manageable and um, just let me hit OK here and now it's going to take several minutes to run through these models and it's going to create a stack over here uh, with some projection lines. So um, first the neural net gets trained and then it runs through um, um, 15,000 calculations for each one times 10, so this will take a while. So let me pause it again. Just want to show you the <clears throat> first model ran and created this projection line, uh, which looks not so bad for last week's data, um, November 6th through 10th. Um, and that took about a minute and a half or so. So uh, once again, it's, it's first calculating. Um, the model, and there could be uh, two or three hundred um, parameters in here, and then it it goes through and, as you can see, what it's doing there. Okay, um, there's last week again. So at fifteen thousand, it's going to stop and put that projection line. There it goes uh, onto the price data, and there it is. So as it moves on through each of the models, um, let me pause it again. So a few minutes have gone by, and all 10 models got calculated with a curve uh, projection line drawn onto the chart. So it's really just a matter of going through and turn them all off here, and then turn each one on and one by one to see what looks the best. The FAM model presents a smooth curve like this in the dynamic model, a more um, very specific kind of uh, jaggy curve. So I've been using one of each, um, and that's, that's pretty much uh, this dynamic sun and moon. I could show you here. Um, okay. So let me just go through this and pause it again. So I'm liking uh, this dynamic sun and moon um, curve very much. There's two of them very similar in here. Um, and I should check back to see how it looks. Yep, that's pretty nice. OK. And yep. OK. So um, it's just then a matter of um, eliminating. Uh, let's see. Yep. That's next week. We'll talk about that in a second. 
uh, basically going through and eliminating all the extra ones here and just crossing them out. And okay. Let me pause it again. Okay, so I have these two uh, neural net models set up and one is giving me an overall idea for the trend for the week and the other is getting a bit more specific for timing. And next I'll save this, uh, save to file, and, and for November 10th, and say OK to that. And it was saved. So uh, when I open data next time, I would come up here and say File, Run as Template. And here is the, the model ready to run. Let me cancel that. OK. One of the things I did for this week was to click this button here, the Tool button, uh, for Neural Net Options, and click Neural Net Topology. and use two hidden layers and hit training and see if that doesn't improve things. So while it's doing that, let me hit pause again. So I just stopped it at 75,000 um, trainings, I guess, if you would put it. Um, and next we click main window. And then that button up there to put that on the main screen and minimize that. So here's a screenshot um, Here's a screenshot of 15,000 steps training, and here's 75,000. Um, there's subtle differences, but um, Essentially, the CITs are in the same spot, so I'm not sure that's necessarily worth it. And let's see here. Back to um, uh, the neural net uh, control panel. Um, clicking view, I can put buy and sell signals in here. Um, I can set how, how many steps are necessary for each recalculation. Um, I can set up a profit profile, and it's pretty much I'm using defaults here on everything else. To find out what goes into the training model, um, this is the output of um, the criteria of what's going into this. Um, so uh, here it's a, a sun uh, waning version. Uh, there's 501 elements that go into this uh, model, and um, I can't imagine trying to calculate this by hand. <clears throat> um, so here's the sun as it moves from to 20 degrees, 10 degrees, 30, 40, 70, etc., uh, all the way up through three, no, 180 degrees. Um, and then there's a helio version, which would be the Earth. Uh, same deal, up to 180. The Moon waning version as it goes around to 180, and so on. So. So it's, it's crunching the numbers on these 501 uh, events. Um, so that's pretty daunting right there. And I'm going to just close that at this point. So um, that's it. Um, good luck, and see you next time.